Hi there! Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to show you how to make a bar histogram chart. When do we use a bar histogram chart? If you want to show the distribution, we make a bar histogram chart. You can also include a line histogram chart if you want. First, we have to select a line and clustered column chart. Let me maximize this for you so it can be easier to see. And there you have it. Let's try to make a normal bar graph. We have the units for column Y. And I may want it to be the count. And we have the readings for column X axis. As you can see, the data is not quite understandable. For a bar histogram chart, we have to group them. What you need to do is go to new group. And then for the bin type, I prefer to use the number of bins. We're going to select 20 for this case. We are going to drag this to column X axis. And there you have it. The data is now grouped according to their values. Why don't we add a normal distribution line in our case? Let's try to minimize this for a while so it doesn't get in the way. And let's add a card. And then I'm going to put in the value of the reading. Uh, we might want to change this into the average or the mean. Press Control C and Control V. Great. I want to get the value of the standard deviation. We're going to have to add a new column. A DAX function will open for us and I'm going to name this distribution curve. We're going to use the norm this function. X means the value that we need and that would be reading. Then we enter the next value which is the average 5.49 and our standard deviation of 0 0.07 and the last entry would be set to false we're going to have to drag this to the line axis oh that's not what quite we wanted but we can adjust this to average let's make the finishing touch by turning the secondary axis on but now we have a very good distribution curve along with the bar histogram